Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've been waiting for, Miss Sherry Vine. Good time, good time. I'm looking for a good time. gentlemen and everyone who falls somewhere in the gray area welcome to the premiere episode of she's living for this <laughs> now of course i was too young to remember the variety shows of the 1970s but thanks to the discovery of youtube i've been able to research the great comedians and performers of that era and steal for draw inspiration from them share the Mandrell sisters, Marie Osmond, and perhaps the one person who's had the biggest influence on me, no, not Miss Piggy, Carol Burnett. <laughs> what a day it has been already. I was standing on the corner this morning, minding my own business, 
business was slow, <laughs> when a car pulled up, the window rolled down, and a well-dressed businessman said, excuse me, miss, can I smell your vagina? I said, certainly not. And he said, oh, must be your feet. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be that cheap. Because this is here TV. So I can say whatever I want to say. Show gratuitous nudity and drink real alcohol, which I encourage you to do because the more alcohol you drink, the better I'm gonna look and sound. <laughs> Speaking of, <clears throat> Sherry Thirsty. Sherry Thirsty. Oh. Thanks, hunting. I'm gonna like this job. <laughs> now, if at any time I sound off key or hit a sour note or stumble during one of the show-stopping dance breaks, it's not because of the booze. It's because there's uh, work being done on your cable system and unfortunately it happens quite frequently. <laughs> I am so excited about tonight's show. We have something for everyone. Comedy, drama, song, video, parodies, and our very special guest, Justin Vivian Bond. So, kick your shoes off, spread your toes, relax, and enjoy. She's living for this. It's come to my attention that there's full frontal male nudity in this show, and I do not approve of it one tiny bit. But I would like it at my house next Thursday night at 8 p.m., if you know what I mean. <laughs> Tired of being stalked by penis-hungry trannies in the shower? Well, now your worries are over. Johnson, Johnson, Johnson & Johnson present the new revolutionary soap, Trans Be Gone. That's right. Now you can relax and scrub those pesky drag queens and cross-dressers away. Thank you, Trans Be Gone. Not a real soap, not a real tranny. I've been sitting on this ice for so long, I got Polaroids. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Kaden. Hey, Sherry. Oh, oh. What do you call two lesbians in a canoe? I don't know. What do you call two lesbians in a canoe? Fur traders. I, I didn't write that one. On this week's episode of The Super Nanny, Super Nanny visits the home of Captain and Mrs. Keller and their charming daughter, Helen. The family I'm visiting today wrote me to tell me they're having a terrifically terrible time with their daughter, Helen. She won't listen to them. She won't speak to them. Uh, she throws things and she can become violent when she doesn't get her way. They've asked me to visit and help them. I am Super Nanny Sullivan. Nanny Sullivan, I'm <laughs> Captain Keller. But you can call me Captain, will yeah? uh, Thank you, it's a pleasure, Captain. I, Captain, not Captain. Got it? Kind of like uh, Captain Crunch. Pay him no mind, Super uh, Nanny Lady. How are you? It is so nice to meet you. My name is Kate. Uh -huh. You can call me just Kate. Uh -huh. <laughs> we are so glad you are here. Uh -huh. That little Helen has been driving us crazy. We are at our wits' uh -huh. end. We saw you on the TV, and we figured, why yeah. the hell not? <laughs> I see. Well, where is dear little Helen? Oh. She is the little 
I think she's in this. We were just about to have some breakfast. Did you want to join? Oh, here she is. Our little ray of sunshine. I hope you brought your sunscreen. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello, sweet little Lammy Helen. Lammy Kins. Helen. Asshole. Oh dear, I wish you wouldn't address our child like that in front of company. <laughs> We're not used to having uh, company, you see. This is our normal meal time. Oh dear. Yes. Oh, I made my assessment now. I'm no medical expert, but I do believe your daughter is blind, deaf, and dumb. Oh, takes after her mother, she does. No, don't act like you know me. I think I might be able to help. You see, the deaf, dumb, and blind... Wait a minute, I won't stand for this. On what grounds you dare make such bold accusations? Based My the, daughter is heaven sent! Based on the overwhelming fact that she cannot speak, nor see, nor hear, my good sir. No, well, that's right. It's always the mother's fault. Perhaps due to some sleazy indiscretion in your sordid past. That's neither here nor there. I can teach Helen the skills she needs to communicate, but you must leave her alone with me, with me and me alone. Sit down, Helen. Now you just need to sit down. Listen to the super nanny and stop. <laughs> <laughs> now you just sit down, Helen. A little. Oh. <laughs> That's a start. S P O O N spoon. 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 Porridge, Helen. Porridge. Mmm. Ah. Oh, God. Yum. Pea soup. Pea soup. <laughs> oh, she likes it. It's more, Helen. It's in a spoon. Ooh, just a spoonful of pudding. Oh, yes, Helen. This is a first for me. In the entire run of this television series, I have never... Girl, it's the bitter taste of the... Oh! Mm. Spoon! Oh. Spoon! Yes, Helen! Good, Helen! Spoon! 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 Oh, she's got it! Oh, oh yes, baby. Father! F-A-P-H-E-R, -E father! Close enough! Oh, dildo! D-I-L-D! Oh! She learned! She learned! Big deal. I know how to spell, too. God bless you, Nanny Sullivan. My work here is complete. Ta-ta! <laughs> that little bitch. Suckers! S-U-C-K-E-R-S. -E Suckers. <laughs> I'm having a boy because my husband was on top. Well, I'm having a girl because I was on top. <laughs> Chancy, why are you crying? I think I'm having a puppy. What did the banana say to the vibrator? Why are you shaking? She's going to eat me. It gives me great pleasure to introduce my dear friend, Tony-nominated singer, author, artist, Singing a song from the CD Dentrophile, please welcome Justin Vivian Bond. Bring 
bringing it all back home again Selling it right through to the end Wondering how to make it right Hoping you'll sleep with me tonight And after the time for dancing through And after I give myself to you I spin all my thoughts and my crazy ideas Wondering whether they'll get me to go To the moon child dancing in the moon glow Blonde hair swinging in blue highlights Old crone singing to the gold child Come live this mystery tonight And how many times can I go away And why do I have to put on this play Every day everyone loves it just the same And we all have to show what we do in the game Then there's glorious you at the end of the phone And I have no idea where I am, where is home Suddenly I'm feeling so lost and alone But you're here and I want you to stay With the moon child dancing in the moon glow Blonde hair swinging in blue highlights Old crone singing to the gold child Come live this mystery tonight right through to the end wondering how to make it right hoping you'll sleep with me tonight and after the time for dancing through and after i give myself to you i spin all my thoughts and my crazy ideas wondering whether they'll get me to go to the moon child swinging in the moon Thank you, Justin, Vivian, Bond. Thank Hi. you. I love that song. Thank you. It's amazing. Can we have a little uh, chit chat? Like yeah. All, like the old days? Yeah, girl. Oh, well, let's plan it. All right. Thank you. <laughs> now, V, we've known each other for quite some time. Mm -hmm. I remember the first time I saw you, 1995, when we were in kindergarten, mm -hmm. and you were performing at 88s. Right. And I knew, sitting in the audience, like, I want to work with this person. And we did. And we did. Remember this? Oh my God. <laughs> That's us at the Cowgirl Hall of Fame. We were drinking a lot in those days. Yeah, you introduced me <laughs> to whiskey and ginger ale, and my life has never been better. Isn't that wonderful? I absolutely love it. Tell me about the road from Cowgirl Hall of Fame to sold-out shows at Carnegie Hall. Well, at that time, I was in this act called Kiki and Herb, and we went to Off-Broadway, and I did that for about six months, and I said, I'm never doing this again. I don't want to do it. And these producers said, well, what could entice you? And I said, well, I might do concerts. And they said, well, where would you want to do a concert? And I really didn't want to do it at all. So I said, Carnegie Hall. <laughs> and they said, well, if we can arrange that, you would do it. I said, I guess so. And then thinking they would never, ever pull it together and we would never play Carnegie Hall. And about 
seven months later, we were doing it, and I was still, at that point, I was so over playing Kiki that I almost didn't do Carnegie Hall. That is the most beautiful <laughs> yeah, I story. Did like, I don't know if I want to do Carnegie Hall. Well, That's I sort of wanted to do it the way I wanted to do it, and that wasn't the way I wanted to do it. Oh, okay. But when I did it, <laughs> It was worth it. <laughs> I'm sure it was. <laughs> I wasn't going to waste it on being nervous. I was just going to go out there and, you know, Give live it. it. I loved it. It was so great. That's amazing. I get that feeling every Sunday at Barracuda. Uh. Now, um, you know, at least in the bathroom. <laughs> usually. I have some amazing memories of us trolling around the bars at four in the morning in the 1990s. What is your all-time favorite memory of the cock? We did this party called Foxy, and people would do things for Foxy dollars. So there was this one queen who would put things up her butt. Uh, and one Krylon. year at Christmas, Krylon, and she came out, and she had this bunting wrapped around her, and she turned around and bent over and had a Christmas tree shoved up her butt and had the audience decorate it. It was beautiful. No! Yes. Really? Yes. I didn't Google the name of your CD, Dentrophile. I did yeah. not Google it because I wanted to hear it from your mouth. <laughs> what the hell is Dentrophile? A Dentrophile <laughs> is a person who gets an erotic charge out of nature. Really? Yes, like a, literally a tree hugger. I was on <laughs> the, this mountain in Tennessee and there was this big log that had fallen across this ravine and it was covered with moss and it was warm, you know? <laughs> and so I went out and just sat on that log and started writing and that's where I wrote most of my songs. You really wrote these songs on Dentrophile, right? Yes, well, that's most amazing. of them. It's so impressive. I'm very impressed. Thanks. Where can we get Dentrophile? Dentrophile, you can uh, get it on my website or What's justinbond.com. Justinbond.com. Or you can get it on iTunes. Or on iTunes. Or in, you know, a lot of stores too. And you have a book, Tango? And I have a book, Tango, My Childhood Backwards and in High Heels. I have got to read which that. Which is about my life in Maryland, in Maryland. Hon, when we I was a kid. That in common. We're both from Maryland. We're both Maryland read. girls, done good. I'm so honored that you were here as our first guest. Thank you. I'm Thank so you honored so much, to be baby. here. It's so exciting. I love you. Mm. Love you. Justin Vivian Bond. I wish I was smarter. Page! E equals MC squared. It dares. Recently, I've been getting a little bit of attention for making a couple of videos on that YouTube thing that the kids are watching. And lately, people have been sending their videos into me, which I love, because that brings us to my favorite part of the show. We are going to rate these videos on my very special scale of she's living for this to she's living for this. So, oh, let's watch one now. give this one a... She's living for this. <laughs> Next. Yeah. Oh, everything is delicious. Is so so good. good, I can't oh wait to eat God. all of this. Yeah, oh, we deserve restaurant. this. We deserve we do. a fat we lunch. Do. Mm. Oh, I'm congratulations. So Thank you so much. It's really great. Hello, it's ladies. Really have you made any uh, selections? Why, good afternoon. Why, yes. Good afternoon. Well, I think I will have a chipmunk stew, followed by the pussy crab pie. Excellent good choice. choice. Don't you think so? And for you, ma'am? Yes, I'll have the wrapped fennel air with mm. caramel chunks, with a sliver of cotton pie. Give it just 
half a dash of salted water, and then could you throw that in a bread bowl for me and make it into a soup sandwich? Absolutely. Delicious. Caden. Sherry. What does bungee jumping and a hooker have in common? What? They both cost about $100, and if the rubber breaks, you're screwed. Oh my god, so true. <laughs> Well, that just about does it for tonight's show. I hope you had as much fun as I did. I want to give a big thanks to the entire cast and crew, including the Sherry Vine dancers, Busted, David Ilku, and my very special guest, Justin Vivian Bond. We'll see you next time on She's, She's Living, Living for This. this.